my camera stopped working at the worst time imaginable. Oh my gosh! Woo! That is amazing! My camera's not going! Why? My camera's not... My wife and I drove over 400 miles, crossing five states from Virginia to Ohio to catch a glimpse of the total eclipse. Columbus, Ohio was just slightly outside of the totality zone. On Sunday, the, the day before the total eclipse, we packed our bags and we drove out there. We are on our way to Ohio. We just left our service at church. And the reason we're doing this is because Huang Fan made me do this. In order for me to tell you what inspired this adventure, I need to introduce you to my friend Huang Fan. Huang is a very talented videographer uh, that I also serve with uh, at my church. In fact, he's such a talented videographer, he even shot our wedding. You need to go down to check out his YouTube channel. Really inspired this video, and this is the reason why I'm even making this video. What Huang does on his channel is he goes to really interesting places and he makes a lot of effort to get the impossible shot, as he calls it. There's a series that he does called The Impossible Shot, where he travels the world and he gets um, photos of very interesting places. Yo, we made it. We're at a rest stop on the side of the highway. <laughs> Yeah, you got all your, your everything set, set up right now? Dude, everything, everything is set up. I'll send you a pic after this. Yeah, get the, get the filters on. Don't fry anything. Don't stare at the sun directly and, uh, and just snap as many pics as you possibly can. The thing about the eclipse, I had my camera settings uh, set up. I had my cameras positioned. You have to understand, like, I had everything set up, but once the, the moon crossed in front of the sun, everything got dark. It got, it got really dark all of a sudden. And as I'm shooting, all the settings have to change and I had to adjust the settings on the fly to get the shot. Yeah! Ah! Ah! That's ah! Oh my gosh! It's really interesting because you're trying to, to look up at the moon, you're trying to look into the viewfinder, you're trying to make sure that the, the pictures come out right. The camera's buffering because I'm shooting way too fast and a lot's happening and I'm getting nervous because I only have three minutes to get the shot. My camera's not going. Hi. My camera's not. Hi. Oh, is so cute. Two, one. Oh, that's so amazing, honey. <laughs> I had it on a uh, high speed continuous burst and Buffer, buffering is a thing. That is so cool. Wow. Total you darkness. Red? You see something red there? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. What's the red thing? Even though I have a really fast SD card, it couldn't handle all the raw files and the JPEG files that were being saved at the same time. Look at the stars around it. Yeah. Everything just got really dark and I could kind of see around like wow. this fake sunset. It was just like 360 degrees of horizon with darkness in the middle. Let's look around. I know. So right now we are, so right now it's, uh, ooh, it's in full coverage right now. And so look at oh. the surrounding area, the whole, uh, it's getting really dark. Eventually we did get the shot. And here are some of the shots that I took of the solar eclipse. You gotta go get the shot. I got the shot! Nothing will replace being there in person, and I suggest that you go out there and experience life. Even though you're hearing this from a photographer, videographer who stands, spends a lot of time behind the camera, I think it's important that we enjoy life, and that's what I'd like to do. All right, so what, 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 what was the experience like, guys? Once in a lifetime. Uh, I think it was more surreal than I anticipated it to be. Me too. I wish we had more time with totality, but... Yeah, I told you I need a snack. Wifey?
uh, I think is pretty cool. I get a little. <laughs> oh, it was amazing. I really noticed the change in the weather. Oh yeah. It got very much cooler. A lot yeah. cooler. The birds were acting peculiar. Yes. Yeah. All the dogs went, went crazy, mm -hmm. right? The dogs yeah. were barking. Totality. All those street lights came oh, on. Yeah. All the bees went into their little holes in the building. Tristan, yeah. what did you think of the eclipse? Tristan, 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 what did you think of the eclipse? I think, I think it's really cool that during that two, two to three minutes, you can truly just see the sun without any glasses, and then yeah. you can, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Really oh, cool. and the, uh, Sunset was all around the Earth. Like, mm, yeah, yeah. You could see the sunset yeah, in every direction. That's actually a good direction. point. Yeah. First time you could see the sunset yeah. in every direction. Yeah. Oh. Or the, the well, the what appeared to be a sunset. sunset. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Here, what did you think of it, Tristan? I think it was great. So we just, uh, I just finished half day of work, and then we are now um, having lunch. <laughs> I really. I don't Before know. we hit the road again. Uh, and I thought of me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now I have to start off. No, you don't. Just keep going. Just keep going. That's good. Uh, my, my silly attempt of wanting to be. Come on, you can do it. All right. Let me start a new file.